Yes, what's good, people? Welcome back to What's Popping on the Blogs, episode two. I'm your boy, Flashy Silla. Kamzo, bow. Let's go. Uh, Z, you know, definitely try to contact them and just, uh, <laughs> like, she was like, why was she so angry? I saw that, I was thinking, raw. <laughs> Hey, the day ZZ gets City Girls on, on flipping um, ZZ No Show, bro. I'm watching that. And then she'll have a different energy. She'll be what like, do you oh, think? I like you guys. I didn't know she said City Girls, trust me. She'll change What do you think energy. about City Girls? I think City Girls are fucking hard. I'll be so honest. Bro, I, I feel like you're, so you're, you're, you're no, simply for the no, gang. No, I'm not, not, bro, I think that. Do you know what it is? I'll be honest here. Yeah. <laughs> what makes them hard? What makes so them I'll hard? be honest with you. I like, I just love how carefree they are. I'll be honest. I don't listen to City Girls like that. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's not really my thing. But yeah, what yeah. I do listen to is whenever they're on a feature. They've got Baby on a tune. Every time they've got City Girls and Baby, it's hard. Like that flued out tune, yeah. and then they got another tune. You say um, you need flued out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I must say you can relate to the tunes, you know. Like, yo, fuck it. Like, yo, I know maybe you're dropping some gems. I hey. think they're hard. I rate them. No, I do you know what it is, yeah? Bro, you see City Girls, yeah? Like, I feel like I've heard them before. You know, like, by you, by know, you, know, you know, Trina, you know, like, bro, the, the gal in, like, let's say, like, Crime mob and that, like, mm. bro, they, there's been raunchy girls before like that, that are about this, like, like, splash that. the cash thing. Not like, like that. Like, for example, bro, there's, there's, there's been the, about, tune, bro, the tune Young Man be done, yeah, she's fucking shit. Bro, bro how do you know these nah, tunes? Nah, but, bro, because you see on blog pages and that, big up my guy, he bro. Said, he said, Major Face, bro, bro, you got that smash. You come on, bro, you know about Major Face. Don't disrespect my nigga. Listen, you see, you see that she made, Young Man be brought out a tune, yeah? Uh. The song is so shit. But she was outed yeah. every single rapper there is. Like, yeah, yeah, say, yeah. dropping names, no yeah. subliminals, just straight names. Mm. But you don't see that, man. And that's what I mean by the balls, isn't it? Trust me, they got some serious balls. I rate them, man. I'm, I know not, I'm not saying. trying to hear that from Gal, bro. No, it's not. Just because I rate it doesn't mean it's for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It yeah. can't be for me. Like, my limit is, my limit, yeah, is like, is Nikki, bro. Like, Nikki, Nikki definitely not for me, where? Like, because I think Nikki can really spit in it. Nikki don't spit no more, though. No, she don't. Bro, Nikki spits, man. Nikki spits. Nah, Nikki spits. Are like, Nikki's on fast forward times three, bro. That's what she does, bro. Nikki don't spit no more. <laughs> no, no, no. Man. The thing is, we've seen so many classic Nikki verses. Yeah, like, classic, yeah, like, bro. Man's... Back in the day, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But not anymore. And man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the latest Nikki song you got on your phone? Go on, tell the truth. Next topic, please. That's what I'm saying, Z. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Trust me, man's got no tunes that you just say their name. Yeah, you got me. got I know nothing about this, I'll be real. <laughs> I know nothing about that. Shout out ZZ Mill though, but we're talking about ZZ Mill. Big up ZZ yeah. Mill, because I watched her go from a bold lady to a woman with hair in progress, you get me? She, her thing's patterned, I like her, you get me? I like ZZ Mill. She was bold when she started, didn't she? She looked like you. She looked like made you think, and now she's all glowed up and shit. Big up ZZ Mill. <laughs> I like Z-Girl. I like Z-Girl. What was ZZ's response? Oh, she was like, what of all time like what but i understand both sides of the situation because zizi's coming from an old school mm-hmm. point of view mm-hmm. of like she's seen the little king she's seen the foxy brown she's seen the queen latifah mm-hmm. and all of that mm-hmm. stuff and i mean he's coming off someone in this generation city girls are the most popping girls right now mm-hmm. so everyone's entitled for their own opinion i'll be real i will buy a video on this one still yeah, i'll be real i can't lie to you apart from Nicki minaj yeah well zizi said that um it's capping it yeah, it's cut, man. And then also the the city girl JT said she shouted at IVD in it. Yeah, so there's gonna be some. Yeah, sort that's of cut. Come on, you, all right. I could think of probably five. Think of them. Say them. All right, Young Me mm-hmm. is better than City Girls. Um, you've got Nicki Minaj. She's better. Nicki Minaj. I think she's amazing. Better. Yeah. Um, Missy Elliott. Oof. Yeah. Missy Elliott. We've yes. Got, uh, little Brat. She's better. Okay. Yeah. Um, Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown, there you go. What do you think about That's that? Yeah. Lil Sims. I'll put, listen, even, even with those five, I'll put Miss Dynamite before fucking Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite, yeah. I'll put, I'll put her there. Fuck it. Yeah, there. but... But yeah, what, I don't, I don't, like, City Girls, mate, I'm 27. How old are you? Oh, so you're not even that, you're not even that much so how, older how old than you? IBD. Why when you ask women their age, they like to stool? How old are you? I'm not answering your question. I don't know where you're from. I'm um, saying, so, <laughs> I don't know, we don't know. I didn't, I didn't look your name today. But I will say, IBD is in her early 20s. ZZ, it's the aggression, you know what I mean? Like, you said it's sweet. If you said it's sweet. Um, ZZ Mills is in her early 30s. You don't know what her age? What's going on here? So ZZ, we can make this a topic if you we want. Can, if you if add you that to, to the topic list. Listen, um, go on, say your thing. <laughs> so ZZ is in her early 30s. Yeah. So um, I think it's just different generations. All like, right. they, like she, I don't think IBD, she, to be fair, there's a lot of people around IBD's age that do know about Lil' Kim and that, but... And also, City Girls have made an imprint, like... Do you know what I mean? Everyone says yeah, the word City Girls. No, they make, they make good they music. Made an they make good music, but I'm saying, like, rapping-wise, 
I don't is that care. what you I don't want? Do you want the top, top, top five rappers? Top five rappers, like female rappers of all time. They're not, the, like, they're not the best Right, of but for all what time. reason? Lyrical ability or impact? You have to specify why. But it, it, like, I think this. age definitely matters in it because it's obviously 100%. her era, so she's going off of her era. Some people own the age, others don't, but that's calm. And it could be str- you know it, it could be strategic as well. Some people throw shades, other people don't. But you know, it could be strategic. But, but we both wear shades, innit? So let's talk about that. You get me? Come on, innit? You get me? Next question, though. You don't have to fight. It could be about love here. Do you know what I mean? There we go, man. There we go. Man didn't ask about what bills are on page. He's asking my age. Ask the right questions. Come on, man. There's no way to City girls. City girls, City girls talk about their vagina every day. There's not, there's, there's, there's nothing like, you know, li- lyrically great about talking about your pum pum. There's no way City girls just talking about running up people's money and talking about your pum pum and how what your pum pum is is good rapping. That's not good rapping to me. I mean, but, but the songs are catchy, right? Like, well, that's the thing. It's a beat. <laughs> And they're talking about all kinds of stuff that the you know the new age mm-hmm. net feminazis want to hear you talk about and all that kind of stuff. So let them talk. But then, then there's no way that they're top five. Even Ivy, what's her name? Ivy Rondol. Mm-hmm. She's not even. I mean, she's an okay rapper. Do you know what I mean? As a female, but she's not anything special. She, she talks about the same kind of stuff for me. Listen, I'm a whole auntie here, you know. I'm in my thirties now. I'm with ZZ, you know. I call city girls town girls. I listen. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't even name your city girls tune. Is that bad? Should I'm I still do? with my. I don't I still know. listen do to you, my old school. Do you R&B. consider yourself current? Are you? No. I li- oh, what, what? Listen, I listen to old school and be like it came out yesterday. So you know, I'm one of them I'm grannies. Gonna, I'm probably gonna be the first person today to just big up city girls, man. Big up. I mean, they they're hard. like their new tune with Fabio or Foreign slaps. Like they are, they do their thing. See, I, don't I just hope one of them. Not, I hope one of them not really going out with Diddy though, because that is dirty crosses. Still, he's a quiff. Fifty something. He's a quiff, blood. How old are they? How old are they? That Miami little Miami girl, or whatever. Like he's a whole quiff for that. Yeah, but like, he, date, he dated. He um, dated. What's his yeah. um, his son's girl? What's yeah. her name again? And, and um, no, look, Lori he Harvey. Has, he has no behavior. I get it. Like skinny dipping at your son's uni and that. You ain't got no behavior. I know. I know. I know, I know. My thing is right, it's like, right, I get it. Previous era rappers were doing their thing, but it was a different climate. Like. No, it's, it's a different climate. The reason why there's an issue is the message behind the music. That's what you don't understand. It's not really no... It's oh, not about the whole, it's the it's message not behind. Good. It's just the fact that we, it's You know ratchet. what, we grew up in too ratchet. Oh, That's the point. Because of course, little and Kim... Hope- of course, little Kim had people queuing up for Sunday school. Yeah, but then we still had the Lauren, but mm. we had Lauren Hills. We still had other oh, female rappers coming up. We've got Little up. Sims too. Mm. I'm just saying, but we're not talking I'm about. Just, I'm, just I'm not saying, talking about sis. We're talking about saying. city girls. I'm just saying, city girls. You keep doing your thing. I know, but I'm city. with them. I'm with them. All right. uh, yeah, do you stay away from do Diddy. You? All right, because that shit ain't pretty. All right. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> they're not top. Personally, they're not top five females rappers in it. That's because you're not a bad bitch. Fair enough. Yeah, because you see who the bad bitches, they be relating. And yeah? I hear that. I hear I that. I can't fucking because the average way more bad than your last bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. I can relate no, to but that I shit. Because I, I am a lot more better than your last bitch. I can tell you that for free. Cool. <laughs> I, you didn't let me learn. What I'm saying is, to Ivy D, that's her top five, innit? My top five and your top five are going to be different because 100%. we like we listen to different things, innit? So ZZ coming at her like for that. But then like 10 years in between them. Yeah, but for ZZ coming at her for that, it's like, bro, that's her top five, innit? If that's who she thinks is in her top five, she's relating to them. She's a rapper herself. Mm-hmm. They're saying things that's empowering her and da 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 da. I don't listen to City Girls. So it's got nothing to do with me, innit? Like, she I listens to them. The that's, the, that's her people, yeah. Listen, that's what yeah, you see, yeah, people who want to unapologetically be themselves, yeah, I fuck with them. And you see them, they are some ratchet bad bitches. And you see when I feel like being a ratchet bad bitch, I'm throwing on city girls. When it comes to relation, like a man's relationships and children and that, like man gotta be sensitive in it. That's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. But I do, I do respect Krep for still providing for his kid. Nah, and he, he still shows off his, his, his child. You know I what love me? that. Krep, Krep was the first one. Big up Krep. Yeah, yeah, Cause you know baby daddies, they're, they're used to hiding their youths. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah, Krep yeah. was the first one, you know, that actually started yeah, showing, yeah, their yeah. Youth, showing their youth properly. Yeah, yeah, and I thought yeah. you'll see more rappers do it now. Yeah, yeah, you used yeah, to hide, yeah. you'll see a youth like, oh yeah, like, yeah, this is my youth still that. Like, yeah. He's at like, like 13 <laughs> and that. Like, Whoa, when did you have this youth? So I love Krep for that. But- Man had this baby in 08. He's my age and that. But trust me, the real is true. We got that crap, man. First and foremost, man. We got all my good black dads who are doing well by their children. You feel me? Period. Period. So, I don't know about no nigga getting backlash for taking care of his kids. You hear me? Mm-hmm. So. I honestly but, feel like um, she gave an answer on that, and her answer was that he does more than most men do for their children. So I feel like nobody knows what people's pockets are. We don't know how much money right, he right. gives her a month. 
Right. We don't know how that shit runs. So at the right. end of the day, we can't be watching how how yeah. they split their thing. She could be splitting the nursery fees with the money he gives her a month. No one knows so what. So if no. she's happy, yeah, for sure. Worry about your own baby father. Worry about your own baby dad. Your deadbeat roasted dead baby Period. dad. You see what I'm saying? You're out there putting in comments these times. Your dad can't buy your son a milk. You get me? You're eating beans on toast. That part. Them man did. With a little, with a little, little sprinkle of black pepper. And a little onion. What's that? Spring onion in there? Yeah, look, no, they, I don't yeah. think they're doing the spring no, onion. No, no, spring onion. onion. No, no. Spring I, onion kind of expensive, you know? No, no. I don't think they're doing no, the spring I came, onion. I came so. up on spring onions, black pepper and beans. So you was broke. Yeah, I come, I come from the, I come from the trenches. Me I came too, up but, broke. But come on, Nigga, spring I came onions up broke. is a specialty. That's that's seasoning. Yeah, I came up broke. Ain't no, ain't no, still, ain't no secret. Mummy still had the seasoning. Yeah, in no, mummy still had the seasoning. Yeah. My, niggas know my story. But, you feel me? I already came from. People know who I am. Okay. I already came from under, innit? I so that. yeah, I'm, I, I came that. from, I came from. The, but my mum always did what she could to provide Mine for me. Too. You see what I'm saying? But Mine too. Yeah, my man came up. Big up the mums and the dads. You see what I'm saying? Man came up. It, 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 he, she's lucky he's even splitting the nursery fees. It's like, no one's you, business. You want to watch people's pockets, you want to watch people's lives, you want to have a say so, like, shut the fuck up, live yours. It's very simple. That's a bit aggressive, you know. I yeah. know, but that's yeah, it's just my nature you know sometimes, I mean? you know. Oh, Jesus. You know? <laughs> I don't buy it, it's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, a millionaire. So oh, everyone's like, he should cover all the bills. Do you know what? Here's my thing. She said herself, this is different. If it was a thing where she was like, Oh, I have no money. She literally said that he put her on where she's making like good money, so she's mm. happy to participate in the upbringing of her child. Mm. So I don't know why this is a topic. You look, you look want equality, innit? There you go. Yeah, she's happy with it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. More said. Men, oh, men have such predictable arguments every single time. You want equality. All right, cool. You're cool. Brad, You're cool. She wants, she, cool. she wants you're the equality. You, the yeah, no, thank you. Oh, well, the women need to just sit down then, because the bottom line, if you're co parenting, if you're yeah. co parenting, you're co parenting. Co parenting mm -hmm. means half me, half you. There's, not, there's no need. To, uh, that's, and, and that's the thing about women of nowadays. They talk about this independent woman nonsense. If you're independent, be independent. All of a sudden, you're not independent no more. Now you want money. If you're independent, be independent. Okay, yeah, it's not just women line. making the comments, though, is it? It's like. It, of people. course, it was more. It's not just women, women, is it? How do you know? Have you done a poll? Of course, it was more. Men, <laughs> men, men, men are not going to be complaining. Men are not going to be complaining about, know? oh my God, I'm paying half the nursery fees. That's what you're supposed to do as a man, as, as, as a father. It's I, the women complaining, oh, he should pay more. Sit how, down, co-parent and, sh and shush. How do you know it's all the women, though? There's no way it's, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's no ways the men that are complaining. Okay, all right. No way. Okay. However they agree to work their thing between them's cool, but don't talk on a man's money. He made that money. They didn't... And it's, 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 it's prep's money that people are talking about at the end of it's the day. Yeah? They're not talking about his ex-partner's money. They're saying for his money there, he should be doing X, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, you didn't make that money with him at the end of the day, innit? I don't him and his baby mum, if they've got an understanding, then, 100%. then, then they're that's co them, she's happy, happy, he's happy. He's Some people are bitter because their baby father don't pay 100%. shit. So that's what they're really trying to do, is vet their own team. Like, no, car. Their baby father ain't on piss. 100%. So they're like, wrong. Nah, he should be doing that, 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 that. No. No. You get let me? If they live. agree that it's calm, then let it be calm. Do you get me? Mm. Don't vent, don't use, don't start venting on the internet about their situation because you feel a bit embittered about your own thing. Like, venting about them ain't gonna make your thing no better. So. Your baby father's take in. See us on, on Twitter, I'm seeing girls create a whole room chat, chatting about the whole situation. The title literally should be splitting, da 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 da. Bro, it's got nothing to do with you lot, bro. Like, most of you lot's baby dads are not even giving you a score at the end of the week. For the, for, for that. nappies. That's what I'm saying. So, nappies don't wear nappies, but he ain't well, watch your own shit. relationship, innit? Watch your own situation <laughs> with, your, with your baby dad. People are just talking, talking, talking up. Personally, I think it comes from jealousy, innit? I think that all that stuff comes from jealousy. They're thinking, like, oh, if, my, if I had a millionaire baby dad, but you don't even have a millionaire baby dad, so already you can't relate. If you got a million, if you got a millionaire baby dad, my man put her on. No one knew, I didn't know who Sasha was. You get me? She come onto the scene, there's Kreps girl, very, very, they split up. She's doing her thing, she's doing her thing with Savage Fenty and whatever, blah, 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 blah. If they're going halves on, on the, on the, huh? Prina. Prina. <laughs> I'm on Sasha's thing daily. But, <laughs> but what am I saying? If they want to go halves on the, on the, on the, on the thing, that's their problem, that's their relationship. But watch your own relationship and watch your own pockets, innit? At the end of the day, not all women want to live off, man or not. Some women feel empowered to know that, yeah, they can go halves for their child's education. Like, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just oh, feel like if it was them girls that are on benefits that I've got them watching, <laughs> like at the end of the day, there's enough gals that are out here and they all they know is baby father on benefits. 
And they got the biggest opinion oh, I've heard. Speak. What are they going to... Clickbait, man. Bro, Casillas, bro. You love that Castillo. clickbait, too. You know, you know what? Castillo, innit? Castillo, man. Casillas. Casillas, man. Casillas. 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 Even it's a, it's a bit off topic, yeah. But a man see him on um, he's, he's gonna jump on that fresh and fit podcast, bro. Castillo just got to go with America. Oh, bro. I feel threw, like he's perfect for America. He, he is, he is. But um, bro, like, what I'm, are you I'm, I'm out not, there, yeah, for fresh and fit. Bro, they're calling him out, though. Oh, they're telling him to come oh, out. Okay, cool. And right. I'm, I'm gonna re, I'm gonna look out for that. But I can't mm. lie. Apart from that, yeah, I think I don't, bro. You see when man got a rotation of drones, bro. 16, I don't mind. Bro. Sixteen, while she have a girlfriend. You hear, bro? Do you hear bro, what I'm if she approves it, it's calm. She couldn't have approved. Bro, it. you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Some girl approve them things, you know. I need to know where them girl are at, bro. Yeah, you know what it was. Find me them girl, bro. Like, honestly, but. Yeah, like, I, I think, bro, like, let man do his thing, innit? Nah, man, sir. That's it... mad, man. 16, come on, bro. How do you, you can't say you bro, love your girl you and me, have Bro, you see me, I'm a proper traditional man, yeah, and I can't, like. What does traditional mean? That you're no, 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 like, I'm old school, innit? Like, and I feel like old, sc- old school means, yeah, bro, like, man, back in the day, bro, you. Having a rotation was normal. So that's your truth. That's what you. That's, that's my truth, bro. I, like, I, as men, we can have rotation. Yeah, of course we as, can. As gal, bro, they can't just give away their bodies. Sixteen, like that. sixteen. Sixteen. I don't know. That's yeah, what I'm trying. You're not deep in the number. Of course, you can have a couple. Yeah. Like, bro, I, I know. I, I'm not saying I do, yeah. but I know that I could have. I could have a wife, and I could be slamming fair other things, and it wouldn't affect how much I love my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But reality. I can't have sixteen of those, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Too reality, much. Reality. How, do you, how do you have time? How, do you know how long him and his him and his missus was together? I know nothing about nothing. Okay, so I was thinking, calculating it. Yeah, <laughs> if he was with her for five years, mm. no, three years. Let's say three years, mm. and he and he rotated sixteen girls in them in them three years. That's only like. Five and a, a that's four sixteen that you could think of. It don't, but man, them do that all the time. No, that's no, like we're not. No, no, black men don't cheat. You see what I'm saying? We don't. I don't know about all that. Okay. Yeah, black men don't that's cheat. That's a lie. But anyway, like your boy. That's how I feel about it. I feel like that's normal procedure. I don't feel like nah, it's nah, anything it's not, special. It's, it's not normal procedure at all, man. For, you don't come up. Uh, there's there's twelve months in a year. Yeah, and you slept with saying, sixteen. If he was in a relationship months. with her for three years mm. and he rotated six, that's five and a quarter go a year. Yeah. Obviously, she was hurt by it. You see what I'm saying? She broke down. It hurt her. Even if it was one woman. You see what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, he shouldn't have done that. And that's period. So, mm. Pardon? <laughs> what? He did what? That, one, that, 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 one, that was the pyramid thing, innit? When he was, he was plotting them. Right back, left back, centre back. Mad. Do you know what? He's a brave man still. I, I, as soon as I watched it, I thought to myself, he's a brave man. That's, that's an honest... Brave man for what? For being honest, man. You, can't, you won't get... Do you use honest to somebody? Well, to, to his old team. Yeah, his ex. But he, that was the girl that he actually cared about and loved. And, and say this on camera. <laughs> Listen, let's not talk and about the scary. fact that they, they, did, they chose to do that, innit? Do you know what I'm saying to you? Like, they chose to do that. So let's not go you too much into her, that. In my opinion, if you're going to... She you chose to go to the camera. Uh, no, she, on the subject of what they were chatting about, I just felt like the brother was very honest. Like, you don't get a lot of men that come out and say, you know what, you know, I love you and I was banging 16 things when I was with you. Being honest and you know what I'm saying? He was being disrespectful. If that's the I, case. I, did you watch it? No, but... It's, it wasn't... Well, do you know you what? Castillo's very, very, like, from what I know, the brother, he's very, very blasé with how, how he speaks. But from what I felt, there was a lot of truth in it. Like, he wanted to be real with the girl. You know? It was a bit funny at the same time, but... That's not funny. I feel bad for her, man. I want to give her a hug. Uh, she went there now. I want to give her a hug, man. That's sad. No. How many girls? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Nazareth. Fuck, you know. Do you know how many your boyfriend has been carried? <laughs> <laughs> Sniper out on all digital platforms, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Is that his song? Is that Castillo's song? Yeah. Oh yeah. Too. I actually like him. I think he's he's very good at articulating himself, um, and he's super interesting. Got so many stories. Um, yeah, that must have been really hard for her to listen to. Like, if you don't switch, I feel like men are, feel like women are better created for these kind of L's and these kind of embarrassments. Mm. And if it was the other way around, if a woman you were dating said to you, "Hey, hey, hey, Mister." Um, I thought, I, you know, I was with 16 other, go- 16 other guys while I was with you. You'd be shattered. If she if bang- on, online as well, if for she all your friends. Online, I'm going to let her do her thing, innit? She's going to have to feel that. She's going to have to feel that. One thing, one thing I'll say about Castillo, the way, the way, what he said, a lot of men then will be watching that and be thinking like, right, he gave her like the unfiltered truth. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Which I think was necessary for, for all of them to heal. Yeah, but listen, not a lot of people would have that conversation. But what I think is that, mentally how he probably thought that conversation would go because mm. i was seeing him just waiting and sitting there in it like how he thought it was gonna go is like oh you know what thank you for being honest x y and z in it but obviously 
when you actually say it out loud, it sounds very mad, innit? But it's the truth. Because so. it is mad. It is it's, it is. it's absolutely mad. But he but he owns it, innit? That's that's the thing, you know. When someone how owns their not, thing, how like, about not listen, do it? You know something though, yeah? Are you perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Alright, so just relax. So Wait, at the end of the day, yeah, if, first of if you all, own your thing, the if you own your was, thing, the if you own your was, thing and you say, you know what, boom. The I did this, this was bad, I done this because of X, Y, and Z. But does not she proud have, of it, X, Y, and Z, but I'm just letting you know to, what it is. She doesn't have to take it the way he intended so to she take could, it. So what she could have he, done... She's allowed to be heard. This is what I mean. She could have got up and walked away. If she, if she, if she felt that uncomfortable, there's a, there's she a serious got up lack of compassion away. in the way that you're speaking. Like incredibly, you know, he just told somebody. He said this is someone he loved. Right. She said that. Well, I literally devoted myself to you in a relationship. They both loved each other. Whatever. She's finding out all these things that are gonna obviously make her feel bad. She's allowed to be upset. Like the reality is that she got into a relationship thinking it was a safe place for her to love. Like bef- this truth didn't have to be the truth. It didn't have to happen. She, what she's feeling is. Like, why would you do this to me? That's what she's feeling in that moment. Mm. I don't think that's weird. I don't think that's weird. I feel like when you do wrong, yeah, and everyone does wrong, fine, since you wanted to make a point of that. When you do wrong, like, the person that you've done wrong to is allowed to not be okay with that. Like, they're allowed to be annoyed. And the thing is, I think she handled it really well. Like, she went away, she cried, she came back and let him finish the conversation. She handled it, she handled it like a G store. Do you know what I mean? People would have been flinging chairs. It would have been mad. And if it was the other way around, the guy would have melted to nothing. Like I can't lie. I can't, you, you know what? You know what? I can't lie. If, if Mandem, if you were sitting there watching our girl tell us about all this kind of... You would have melted. Turned to it would have been peaked. <laughs> oh, my chest. So, yeah. So, maybe compassion peaked. both ways. Yeah, man. I hear it. I hear it. Do you know what I think here? Yeah? I think... I think mental health has become, like, um, <laughs> entertainment. Mental health has become entertainment. The, uh, Castillo's t- spoken about his life, yeah? And I don't... I'm not trying to disrespect the man, but he's clearly gone through a traumatic experience in his life, right? Do you know what I mean? And his whole story has become entertainment. And like, I feel for him because obviously he's going through something, yeah? Me, I couldn't rotate 16 women. I wouldn't have time for rotating 16 women. But the bottom line is they went on the show and he spoke his truth, yeah? And listen, I couldn't do it, but boy, he's a better man than me. You couldn't speak your truth or you couldn't rotate 16 women. Huh? You couldn't speak your truth or you couldn't rotate I couldn't rotate 16 women. I've got, I got, I got work to do. I've got a son to raise. I can't rotate 16 women. Do you think he was actually women. rotating 16 women or he's all talk and maybe he was just like sliding in their DMs and maybe he had like five on the go? Regardless, if you're with someone, don't be with someone if you're going to act in that way unless you agree to a polyamorous relationship. Why are you doing that? So you're going to hurt someone's feelings and you're really going to impact on their mental health. I don't, I don't give a damn. Like, you know, it's, it's going to hurt. Obviously, everyone's been through some kind of trauma, some a lot worse than others but it's not excusable to then treat someone like that it's it's not okay like if you thought you were gonna cheat just don't be in a relationship mental health a lot of people don't speak about it when it comes Mm -hmm. to men do you know what i mean and it can actually come out in a lot of ways and i'm not condoning his behavior in any way shape or form but that guy needs to seek help bro seek help i'm Mm -hmm. telling you bro seek help because the bottom line is you got a lot of stuff going on because it's not normal for a man to be rotating 16 women at one time. I'm telling you, it's not normal. Don't so like, you think that he'll be able to work for herbal life? Like, he looks proper. like polygamy, don't you think? He just <laughs> like, looks oh. like polygamy, don't you think? Castillo, like, you can smell the adultery through the phone, like, you can smell it through the wow. phone, like, like, nah, what? No, like, all right. Well, I know a lot of men out there relate to that situation, isn't it? maybe not 16, but at least 10 girls. I know bad men are rotating things. Bear man, I wrote right. rotating things, but they're not gonna go on the net and, and talk their business in it. I just think here yeah, that when I see Castillo, I just see a broken child. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's got pain in it. Like when you when you look at his backstory, the things that he went through, yeah. that he was the product of rape, he was molested as a child. Like how do you expect anything? To he's desensitized, like you know I mean? so. Like that's at what. At the end of the day, like he doesn't really know love in it. Mm. So, at the end of the day, I'm not making excuses for him, but at the end of the day, if you're going to love him as a woman, you need to love that man unconditionally because he is broken. Which is and facts. And he's got every... Like, that's his story, innit? But well, he could have do done that, that elsewhere, innit? He could have told her that, that elsewhere. I could do that, but, you know, if it's your mission in life to heal a broken man, then kudos to you. But she wasn't trying to heal a broken man. She didn't know the extent she of what he was, he was doing. Broken. Yeah, she but knew. she wasn't trying to heal him. She didn't him. know that he was fucking 16 years. And his reasoning was, uh, 
because I didn't know love. I wanted to feel secure mas- myself. And you da- know da- what? Da- da- that's da- the reality da- of some. And at the end of the day, yeah. Facts, but even you're giving in life, yeah, you have to give unconditionally because if you give in conditions, you're gonna get cool. You're gonna get. Bottom line is, I don't think he rated her at all because if he rated her, he wouldn't put her on YouTube saying them things. That would have been a private he conversation. Didn't want it. He didn't want it they still you. went there. They traveled there. She dressed up. He was there even at the end. If you watch the whole thing at the end, whilst he's after he said the matting, my man backed his water like he didn't even say the matting. Like, bro, he knew what he was doing, man. He knew what he was doing. It's, it's all crazy. <laughs> but women got to work harder, is what yeah, she said. Apparently. What are you saying, man? Uh, yeah, I think everyone should work harder, innit? But I feel like, I don't like talking about women, but... Oh, I, feel, I know, nah, I know but you know you don't... It's you want to know? Bro. All right, cool, let but me talk. If Jay-Z said to us, work harder, we wouldn't take offence, bro. But yeah, it's like, whenever yeah, yeah, yeah. a female... But you're saying I'm not trying to get onto no, the women. No, no, and that's what I'm saying, because what I'm going to say is, whenever a female says something to other females that's yeah. not on the positive side, yeah, it's yeah. always like, oh, how can you say this? When, bro, you got a billionaire yeah, telling you... Yeah, bro. You get, she came up you see me, up. yeah? I was pissed at the Molly May reaction, bro. Mm. Pissed, bro. Mm. Especially back. Mm, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it to you much, but <laughs> yeah, bro. I feel anyone who's offended by someone saying you need to work harder, obviously you're not working hard enough. Car, there shouldn't be an issue with someone saying you need to work harder, because um, obviously in life, naturally that's what you have to do is work hard, isn't it? A touch on I think the backlash come from because it's Kim Kardashian. You see what I'm saying? Like when you hear that name, you just think of a sex tape, and it's like, who are you to say um, that? You know, we need to work hard when you come up with a sex tape. But I'll tell you this, yeah? Real talk. If I gave you a million pound, it's not about what you do. It's about what you do with the money. Because not just because you've got money, it don't mean you're going to maintain it. Right. You feel me? Yeah. So, it's, I, I can agree where she's coming from. Because obviously, she's turned her empire into a multi-millionaire Facts. business. And, and people feel So, like she would have worked hard doing that. You see Facts. what I'm saying? So. Facts. She has the right, you know, she has her own right to talk about people who complain about working when she understands the process That's of true. working hard. You feel me? That's true. And she, That's put, she turned laying on her back into some mm. businesses. Yeah. And laying on your back is still hard. Laying on your back is hard. Yeah. Laying on hard. your back is hard. It's, I don't think she laid on her back. That wasn't easy. <laughs> I don't think she laid on her she That wasn't easy. Sit down, man. Just She's cheeky, down. to be fair. It's very cheeky. That's right, I can't rely. Well, I she, she, she came from wealth, so you yeah. can't really come and chat, telling you to work hard. Her dad was a big boy barrister or something like that. Isn't so it? you know Free about OJ. wealth, you, you understand that, wealth. You, know what I mean? you don't really know the struggle. Like, the struggles ain't the same. All right, so is the problem that is Kim K or what she said? Because um, what's her name done it the other day, innit? From Love Island. She yeah. says Mo- Molly May. And everyone has something to say about that. Do you know what yeah. You know, work ethic, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, she don't really know about the struggles and that, that we know. Yeah. By the end of the day, what is what she's saying wrong? That's what I'm saying. What she's saying in terms of working harder, anyone who's going to be successful is going to have to work yeah. hard. Do you know what I mean? I think it's because of who she is. But if we talk about it really quickly, yeah. she could have just been the girl that had a sex tape. Exactly. She didn't have to go and create 700 businesses, get make all her friend, family millionaires. And that's the thing, I'm not even like a Kardashian stan or anything, I don't know enough about them. But I'm just saying, a lot of people are fucked and not benefited from it at all. There you go. You know <laughs> so what I mean? I'm just it's, saying it's like, about branding, isn't it? It's about branding. If, you, if um, she put a sex tape out, all of that stuff that she's doing with the Kardashians is branding, do you know what I mean? You've got to go, go, go and film, you got like it's hard work, man. People just see it and think it's easy. It's not easy. Yeah. So she still has to put the graft in. Do you know yeah. who I think works hard? Her what? mum. Was I it? think it's her mum that works hard because when I think about it, did Kim make everyone millionaires or did Kim give the mum something to work with? Like, I would say what hard work has she done in her life? Like, hard work. People know yeah. what hard work is. Do you know the what I mean? Struggles, people, right. people, people build buildings. People, you know, they lay roads. What, what hard work has she done, really? I mean, she's not worrying about how much money she's got to pay rent each month, has she? She's not worrying about her childcare. She's not worrying about, can I pay the bills? She's just worrying about what designer bags she can buy next month. <laughs> is she even worrying about that? No. So it's, it's I don't think it's a re- really a fair comment in that sense for her to make. I don't take Kim K seriously, if I'm totally honest. I don't. Mm. I see no problem. You really? see a problem? Yeah, I do. You see a problem for saying work yeah. harder? Why? The only person that she needs to tell to work harder is a fat ass nigga brother Rob. He don't do shit. His whole life is a through ball. What's man done? Make socks. Fuck off. Tell him to work harder, blood. What do you mean? About work harder. Listen. Anyway, miss, you were saying. Ram, like, I don't have come back for that. Like, I was all going to defend her and then you just said... No, you um, should work harder. Yeah, right. She's saying the socks for. 
Rob Kardashian. Okay. Uh, yeah, but can I just make something clear though? I feel like, talk like... to your brother before you talk okay, to okay, women okay. everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You feel very strong about yeah. Rob. But yeah. what the message still ain't wrong. The message still ain't wrong. The message applies to everyone. I feel like yeah, people just don't like him, and that's 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 the issue, right? People yeah. don't. But I have a problem mm -hmm. with the fact that people think that Kim made it because of her sex tape. She didn't make it because I was like, let me talk, listen, I'm a Kardashian fan. You guys can drag me, I'm a Kardashian fan, yeah? I've been watching from season one, yeah? Oh, when Bruce was still there, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Mm. Okay. You, yeah? Mm. Right, yeah, so Bruce was still there. Mm. So he, she, like the sex tape came whilst they were actually filming the Kardashians. Mm. So she became who she who she is because mm. of Paris Hilton actually, because she used to be Paris Hilton's stylist. Mm -hmm. That's who that's and then obviously she was there in all red mm -hmm. carpets with Paris. Everyone was like, oh who's mm -hmm. that? Who's that mm -hmm. Arab looking thing? Mm -hmm. But Rachel was her boyfriend and they made a sex mm -hmm. tape. It's not like she went mm -hmm. out there and just decided to make a a, a pawn and, and put it out there. Oh, so yeah. oh, yeah. anyways I'm just saying like mm -hmm. people need to stop dragging her. Defend like, your queen man. Listen, shame my queen, Defend but at the end of the day, man. I don't drag people, Defend you know. Queen, I respect her for what she has done, because how many people really made how many people yeah. made sex tapes? Like, where they at? Where they at now? I'm just saying. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, on to the next. Well, I think everyone's mad at the at the messenger, innit? You get me? Because what she's saying, is, there's no, there's truth in it, and there's elements of truth in it. Everyone comes from different backgrounds, but at the end of the day, if you work hard, you will get to where you need to get to. And some people might have to work harder. Some people might not have to work as hard in it, but people are just mad at the messenger. That's what I think in it. Yeah. Easy to say that work harder, but she has tools that she's ahead of people. Facts, but she could she could have just been known as that thing that was got beat at rare, rare, rare by Ray J, because Ray J is the one that was known in it. That she is what known. she's known for. But she's done things after, like she's put a family on her mum, all of that. You know what I'm saying? So she could if she didn't work hard, she wouldn't have got that. But do you know what comes above all of that? Is the fact that she's on the sex tape. That's what she's known for. And yeah, that was a stepping stone. Every man have their stepping stone. Certain man have that first banger that they drop rappers will drop a tune, that first banger sets One them off. Wonder. And then from from then they put the work in and they get to where they're going, innit? You know what I mean? Some men are known as one hit wonders because they didn't follow up from that one hit that they got. She had that one hit, which was the sex tape, and she followed up. She worked hard, she put her family on. They're ah, here in it. Obviously, what she done was a, was a mad thing, but the message is still right, innit? People just don't like the fact it came from Kim K. Yeah. 